so good evening class so today we are going to discuss a very important topic so you know what the topic is the topic is subject verb agreement okay worksheet number is 41 so i want you to go directly to worksheet 41 of your book new fun with grammar and I, I want at the same time all of you to turn on your video to turn on your camera that i can see each of your faces just turn on your camera So I'm going to share my screen with you, okay? If you can see the screen, say yes, sir, we can see the screen, okay? Those who are unmuted, I like to have the response. So can all of you see the screen that I have shared? Yes, sir, I can see the screen. Fine. Yes, sir. So our worksheet number is 41. The topic is subject verb agreement. The topic is, I again repeat, subject verb agreement. We all, I think, know that without a subject and without a verb, we cannot make a sentence, can we? No, sir. No, no sir. we can't make a sentence without a subject and without a verb. Therefore, these two items, subject and verb, are very important. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. That's very good. Fine. So, what do you know about subject verb agreement? What do you think? So, let me make it clear to you. The phrase subject verb agreement refers to the relationship between a subject and a verb. Okay. A verb form always follows its subject. Okay. A verb form always follows its subject. So when its subject, when the subject of a sentence is singular you cannot convert a verb form into a plural one that means if the subject is singular you must convert the verb into a plural one or you must place a plural verb got it if singular then you will place singular verb and if plural if the subject is plural you will place a plural verb. So in this lecture, we will learn the nature of the subject, whether the subject is in first person or second person or third person, whether a subject is singular or a plural, okay? And at the same time, we will learn the verbs, those which are singular and which are plural verbs okay so let's look at the definition so what 
is the definition or of a subject verb agreement. See, they are written on the screen. A verb in a sentence, a verb in a sentence always follows the subject of the sentence. To correct the verb form in a sentence, we need to take into account two important facts. So, to place the right form of verb, we need to consider two important facts. So, what are those? Those are the person of the subject and the number of the subject. Okay. So we need to take into consider two important things, take into account two important things. Those are the person of the subject and the number of the subject. Moreover, we need to consider another thing. Do you know what that is? That is tense. Okay. So in short, or in summary, what we need to do to confirm the right form of verb that is going to be placed after its subject, three important things. The number of the subject, I mean, sorry, the person of the subject, the number of the subject, and the tense. The tense will tell you when an action done by a subject is taking place. Okay. Now you see the person of the subject. That is, the person of the subject can be, it can be a first person, a second person, or a third person. And the number, in case of number, the subject can be either singular or plural. Okay. Now, let's go through the examples there. Okay, I have met for you. And try to figure out the difference Okay, try to figure out the difference when, when to use singular verb and when to use plural verb. Try to figure out that. Now look at the first sentence, Wasi. Can you see that? Hmm? You see the first sentence in red, yes, sir. red color. Okay, once. Yes, sir. I was a bad student. Now yes, I was a bad student. Now just listen. I am a good now I am a good student. I never waste my time. I have a few friends. So here you see first the first sentence. Once I was a bad student. Here the verb was is singular. Okay, was is a singular verb. Now, I am a good student. Here am also is a singular verb. Okay, I never waste my time. So the verb placed here is a plural verb. But the subject though is singular. In case of in case of first person singular number, do you know there is only one person, one first person singular number, that is I. I is always first person, I is of course a first person and it is a singular number. But it's an exception. It is a chrome. Okay? The more I talk about it. Okay, sir. So, the more I talk about it, I will talk about it. Okay, sir. B verb, what are the B verbs? B verbs are am, is, are, was, were, right? So in case of I, we place only singular verb, okay? Singular B verb. 
singular b verb that is b. was and am but in other cases we use plural verb after the subject i i never waste my time the verb waste is a plural verb okay because no s and es is added no s or es is added with the verb okay and i have a few friends you see if the verb have is to be singular then it should be has as we know i is a singular subject so the verb should be singular so why not has why have because sir there is it's an exception you need to keep in mind it's an exception after i we place plural verb in case of have verb okay you know have verb you know do you know about have verb have verb yes, are of three types have has and had okay so in case of have verb we place plural verb that is have after i but in case of be verb we place singular verb like was and am okay i was a bad student here was is a singular verb and i am a good student here am is a singular verb got it so let's consider the second example once we were bad students so we we also is first person okay but it's a plural number we is a first person plural number so after we we place plural verb that is where okay so where is always a plural verb though it is in past tense okay but it is a plural verb we were bad students now we are good students okay so here are is a single plural verb but in present tense okay so we never waste our time so here the verb waste is a plural verb as there is no s or es at the end of the verb okay that means when the letter s or es is placed okay or our place just at the end of a verb it becomes singular okay and it happens only in third person singular number got it when the subject is third person and singular number we place we add s or es with the verb got it like you see once rohim was a bad student so rohim is a third person and it is singular number so the verb here is singular one was once rohim was a bad student now he is a good student so is is also a singular verb he never waste his time here the verb placed is a singular verb okay why because the pronoun it's he is a third person singular number and that's why we have added s at the end of the verb waste okay so you see after waste we have added s he has a few friends after he so has is a okay was he has is it a singular verb or a plural verb singular has is a singular verb and have is h a v e have is a plural verb okay so only in yes, case sir. of third person singular number only in case of third person singular number we place singular verb okay and in other cases in other persons or numbers we place plural verb okay like yes, once so let's look at the next sentence once they were bad students here the subject they 
the subject here is they and it is third person plural number they third person plural number so the verb place here must be a plural verb you see it's not was or it's not is it's where so where is a plural verb okay they were bad students so here where is in the past tense the verb form the tense of the verb is what past tense now they are good students so you see they and are are is a be verb be verb but it's a plural verb and the verb is in present tense okay once they were bad students that means in the past in the past they were bad students but now they are good students why they never waste their time see waste waste is a singular verb or plural verb singular no waste plural verb as no s or es added with the verb if the verb waste is a singular verb okay we add s or es at the end of the verb okay so the subject a is a plural subject third person plural number so the verb will take a plural verb okay so it will take i mean the subject will take a plural verb so here waste is a plural verb and they have a few friends so have the verb have shuddha have is it a singular verb or a plural verb plural verb plural verb okay because as they is a plural subject so the verb the subject they take okay should be a plural verb okay so here i have not has a few friends now you see the box can you see the box there yes sir right yes sir you see first person then person or what are the headings the headings are person singular subject singular verb okay plural subject plural verb that means when the subject is plural it take it when the subject is plural it takes plural verb okay on the other hand when the subject is singular it takes singular verb but that is of course only in case of first person singular subject and third person singular subject you got it first person singular subject is i okay first person singular subject is i for i we place only am and was am is in present tense and was in is in past tense i am a good boy i was a good boy but in other in case of other verbs we place plural verb after the subject i okay like i have a pen we don't say i has a pen okay so here have is a plural verb that is placed after i that is to be placed after i okay Okay, sir. You see, second person, second first person is I, singular subject I. First person plural subject is we. Okay, so I and we, these are these two words are first person. Here I is a singular subject, and we on the other hand is a plural subject. Okay, as we is a plural subject, it will take. Plural verbs. So, what are the plural verbs? What is it? Are, are, where, are, where, and do. Have do. And what about singular verbs? Can you tell me the verbs in YOLO? The verbs in YOLO are singular verbs. Like am, was, is, was, has, does. Okay. These are singular verbs. 
second person will always take plural verb whether it is a singular subject or plural subject that doesn't matter okay if the subject is second person that is you it always takes plural verbs after that okay after it and you see third person yes sir so what yes, what are the third persons you see in the box singular subject what are the third person singular subjects any name of a person place or a thing singular common noun singular common noun you understand common noun like boy like student if it is singular then if it is singular and if it is positioned or if it functions as a subject okay so the verb should be a singular verb singular common noun then uncountable noun uncountable noun that means noun the nouns that cannot be counted by digit okay uncountable noun like water like milk like gold these are uncountable noun like sound okay then we have some pronouns okay that that are that are considered to be a singular subject like he she it this that then we have some other type of nouns we call it we call them collective noun like a group a team a bunch a pair okay if in the subject of a sentence this kind of nouns these these sorts of noun are placed then the verb should be a singular verb okay but okay, in sir. case of third person plural noun in case of third person plural subject if the subject is third person and it is if the subject is plural then the verb should be plural okay now read the line here read the lines Wasi, this subject, this subject that that if this subject is singular, the verb in a sentence will be singular. On the other hand, Sorry. on the other hand, it if the subject. In a sentence is plural. The verb will be plural. Good. So you got the idea. If the subject is singular, the verb will be singular. So if the subject of a sentence is plural, the verb will be plural. Okay. We have only one exception. That is in third person singular number, and in first person singular number. in case of i and in in case of third person singular number we place singular verb okay good now look at the examples there you see question number a they are in your book so you just take your book and just try to match with the answer i have made for you so the mother of these children you see the mother of these children is a widow here you will have some some words in green okay and you will have some words in yellow color okay so those are those are used in the sentences as subject okay so they are the subject so the green color the green color subject suggest singular verb on the other hand the yellow color subject will take plural verb okay and you see the example you see i have given you the hint 
the mother of these children is a widow. Here, the mother is a singular common noun. Okay, and that that is why we should use a singular verb. So here, is is a singular verb. Is okay. Now, question number two, now sentence two. Next, let's get to the next sentence. That woman with five children is my aunt. So here, that woman is also a singular common noun. Okay, and that's why we should choose is here, not are. Okay. Was it? Yes, sir. Harry, the tallest of all the boys in our class, is strong. So here, Harry is a name of a person. It's a proper noun. So the verb it takes should be singular. And that is why after Harry, the verb is is. Okay. Then February, the shortest month of the year, has 28 days. So here, February is a singular subject as it is a proper noun. Okay. So it also will take a singular verb. Has is a singular verb. Has, not have. Is this children's teacher ill today? Can you can you see the example? Yes, sir. Number five. Is this children's teacher ill today? Here, teacher is a singular subject, right? Yes, sir. yes, sir. And that's why here the verb should be singular. So is the verb should be is here, not are. Is. The girl with the long brown hair is my friend's daughter. So the girl, singular common noun. That's why we have placed is here. I is, is, not are. The women in that little village are working on the land. Neil, unmute. So the women, is it a singular subject or a plural subject? Singular subject. The women, it's a plural subject. Plural the women, subject. plural subject. The verb should be plural. That's why R should be chosen here. R. Okay, the women are working. The women are working on the land. The sound of the bells was heard all over the house. The sound of the bells was heard all over the house. Here, the sound is an uncountable noun. Okay, we cannot count it, and that's why the word should be singular, and hence was is here. Okay. House belonging to those people is not very old. So here the house is a singular common noun. So the verb should be singular. So here the verb should be is, not are. Okay. Black and white, black and white paper is used. So paper. paper is always an uncountable noun. Okay. So it takes a singular verb. Got it? So it should be, the verb should be is here, not are. Okay. What's he respond? What are the others? Yes. What about the others? Those who are unmuted? Susan, unmute. Okay, respond please, okay? Okay, sir. Good. So the girl holding balloons in her hand is my niece. So here the girl is a singular subject, right? So, and yes. the verb should be is. Not are. So singular common noun. You see the explanation here? Yes, sir. Are any children in the playground? Are 
any children in the playground so here children is a plural common noun so the verb should be yes ma'am plural and hence we have placed are not is okay okay sir number 15 the women are carrying their babies in their arms here the women is a plural subject okay the subject here is plural and hence the verb should be not is rather it should be are okay the women are carrying their babies in their arms the plural common noun the women here is plural common noun the arabian nights is an interesting book here the arabian nights is a name of a book and therefore the verb it takes should be singular okay and that's why we have placed here is not are then number 17 the people of america is very rich should we place here are no we shouldn't place here are we should place here is instead okay because the people of america that collectively means all the people of america not separately okay so you see the definite article here the so before people we have a definite article the and that's why it means collectively and the if anything or any group that means collectively we should place what we should place singular verb so is here should be placed a group of people was making a noise so a group group is a collective noun okay that's why the verb should be singular was and there is a lot of bread in the cupboard there is a lot of bread in the cupboard so bread is an uncountable noun so the verb should be singular not are but is should be placed there a large number of people were present at the concert okay so it's a plural subject plural countable noun the verb should be plural where so let's uh stop sharing the screen now so you have any confusion so far no, no sir no sir that's very good so we have still left question number b so we will try to solve them in the next class okay so so far any confusion no sir ashit no sir no sir well if any of you has any confusion you just rejoin okay and i will solve your queries so our class is going to be end, going to be ended here so we have oh no still we have uh we have still more than one minutes okay let's take some questions ashik unmute what's your question ashik what's your question well sahik sir time shares ek minute Yeah, I know that. Assalamualaikum, sir. Sir, आपने mention देने तो भी कुछ बात है दिए? हम्म? Sir, आपने mention देने लेखा तो भी कुछ बात है दिए? Haven't you taken the screenshot? You should have taken the screenshot. And if anybody does so. <laughs> So share them in your group. Nan. Sir, hello. Ji, I have a question. Sir, I have a problem. Hello. Ji, question number eight. 
black and white dui ta paper bojana hoyse na tahole e size keno paper 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 is an uncountable noun always take into account always remember okay don't forget black and white mean sada kalo ka sada kalo kagoj okay rongin kapur kagoj ke bojana hocche na paper